Hello everybody. Oh my goodness. So you're going to see videos a little bit out of order just because I have to get things, I have things planned. I have, I have a method to my madness over here. So today you're going to see my haul. This is part one of my happy planner haul. I'm actually receiving another box of happy planner stuff tomorrow. This is stuff that I picked up at Michael's. So you are going to see this haul today. Then you're going to see a memory keeping plan with me for my go wild notebook. Then you are going to see my shopping vlog where I picked up this stuff. And then you're going to see another happy planner haul. So it's going to be like happy planner haul and shopping and that kind of thing. So I am going to sprinkle some planning in there in between and around and after those videos, I also have a let's pack my planner bag video for while I'm at go wild. Let's look through my go wild notebook and just all kinds of fun stuff. So there is fun stuff coming, but I have to do it in a particular order. Otherwise the content won't make sense. So I hope that that makes sense because I feel like I just rambled for like the first minute of this video. But anyway, let's get into what I know that you guys are dying to see. I'm sure you have seen the millions of squad unboxings and things, but this stuff arrived at my local Michaels today and I was very surprised that they had it in already and I'm really excited. So I didn't pick up everything that they had, but I did pick up some things that I didn't have and one thing <laughs> that I didn't need that was on the cheap. So we're going to do a little mini happy planner haul and this will be new release haul part one and part one or part two will come later this week on Thursday ish. So <laughs> without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this haul. So I am going to, the way that I've been doing my hauls lately is I will show you the products and then I will also flip through it while we're here. If you guys have a preference as to whether or not you like the haul and the flip through together, let me know. I just find that if everything is all in one place, it works easier for my particular channel and my viewers. But if that's not good for you guys, let me know. Anyway, so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the things that I picked up. So I actually picked this sticker book up on release day, but, and this one is called Bold and Bright, <laughs> but now that I have seen it in person and it is giving me all of the socialite vibes, if you have been here for some time, like if you've been around in the Happy Planner or maybe you've just like shopped things and seen it as like a unicorn now, this sticker book is giving me all of those vibes. So I loved socialite because it was both pretty and functional and I get all of that from this sticker book as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at, at this new but also very familiar sticker pack. So I'm going to try to <laughs> move things so that we have some room on this board here so that you guys can see everything. All right. So starting off with a bang. Beautiful. I see like St. Patty's Day spread potentially. I also see Valentine's, like my seasonal brain is bursting, but I also just see so many brights with like the really like harsh contrast of the black and white, which is really cute. And then this one, always believe in your wildest dreams. That is a really fun sticker with the foil too. Lots of fun stuff in there. This gives me like that Carrie Bradshaw, you know, she had on, I think it was like bright pink pants and like a red shirt. Gives me all of the Carrie Brad Bradshaw vibes. This like chunky confetti is beautiful. Oh, these full boxes are stunning. And if you are new to the Happy Planner or unfamiliar with these, this particular sticker book, these stickers are sized for the classic Happy Planner. So this says the world's a better place with you in it. <laughs> Isn't that sweet? This happy life stripes. This life is meant for dreaming hearts. Trust the timing of your life. This says appointment with that's actually really nice. I like those. That'll fit in a nice little space there. More really pretty full boxes and these little stars are really nice too. I like those very pretty. And then these functional boxes are everything. You could use them together. You could cut them apart. You could stack them. Like you could do so many different things with those. And then same with these checkoff lists and these nice size appointment stickers. These are so fun. These little flags. They're not little actually. They're like a medium sized flag, but they are so fun. And so are these boxes with the black, but also like the bright in between. That's really pretty. More functional items. Like I'm telling you, this sticker book is gorgeous, but like so functional, you guys. So functional. Super pretty. Oh, I like this with all of the foil on there. In the corners of these stickers, they also have foil. 
really pretty. I like that a lot. More functional things. And the stickers so far have been on matte paper, but this is on glossy paper. So this will be a clear backing, super pretty. Again, more functional things without the foil. And then here are some more functional things on matte. Oh, I love this, like the whole look of all of that, so pretty. Rainbow vibes, seek beauty in all things. Oh, these little circle stickers are absolutely stunning. I never know quite where to put these, but I always love looking at them in my planner. They're always really pretty. Monthly boxes. The only thing I would have liked to have seen here was more like functional monthly. Oh, and then they're gonna give me an entire page of functional monthly. <laughs> I should just be patient and wait. Super pretty. Oh, yes! A bunch of dots in different colors. If you're new here, I love dots a lot. I, I use them in my planner every week. They are just very functional for me. I'm obsessed. Oh, gold foil dots too. Yes! I'm so happy. Make today amazing. Oh, this double box down here with all the color stunning yay a whole bunch of functional boxes and colors we didn't have so far this sticker book i'm telling you this is going to be one of my favorites i'm really glad that i went ahead and got a second one so i had one already coming and i'm glad i picked this one up beautiful so i will mention it in my next haul but i probably won't flip through it again <laughs> because we've already seen it oh my goodness these washi stickers love oh, a full page of hearts so pretty. Oh, and the rainbow hearts too. Like, could you even imagine like a Valentine's spread with these hearts on there? All the fun colors, because sometimes I feel like on Valentine's, I'm a little tied down to, you know, like pinks and reds, but that would definitely open that up a little bit. This is really pretty too. A bunch of quotes with foil on them and then a bunch of quotes without foil. Beautiful. Love start somewhere time to make it happen own who you are beautiful and then this page is a bunch of these foiled dots on clear paper that you could use as decor throughout your spread that chunky glitter and then the black and white and that is the last one in that first sticker book so i'm telling you bold and bright it did not disappoint i am obsessed all right the next one that i have and this is going to be a little bit hard to see i will do my best to show you what's going on but you'll just have to kind of like take my word for it i guess because alpha stickers can be really hard to show depending on their backing so yeah, like this, I can't even hardly see this. Like, we'll put it close and we'll see if you guys can see any of that. I know Marielle was having a hard time showing this on live, but just know there are little alpha stickers on here. So like this, you can peel up your X like this and they are in there. So just know that on each of these pages, there are a bunch of little alpha stickers and it looks like most of them are in capitals. I'm not sure. So that one is capitals. This one, it looks like it's also kind of that block lettering. Beautiful. Oh my gosh, letters in this blue palette. Stunning. And again, I'm so sorry that you can't see most of this. They are really pretty. It would be nice if they would like outline it in black maybe. Oh, these are gonna be a different font. These are like, I don't know how to explain it, but they're like block lettering kind of. Let's see if I can show you. Okay, so this is the W but they're a little bit different. They don't have like the rounded edges. It's a little bit more like traditional typeface and it didn't come out very well. <laughs> it didn't come out very well. I wasn't very careful. Let me get this out. So yeah, it's this like traditional typeface. That's really nice. I like that a lot. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm going to break it. So the only thing about that traditional typeface is that it's very flimsy in between. So be ready to pick it up and put it right down on your paper and your planner. Oh my goodness, go back in your home. <laughs> okay, and then these, again, really hard to see, but they're more of that like traditional happy planner typeface, but on that paper, beautiful. Same thing here. Oh, these are gonna be like the block lettering again, like I just showed you. And these are like the traditional ones in this color. Then one more page of these and then you should be able to see some. Okay, and then the yellow to the orange. And this is like the traditional Happy Planner lettering again. Okay, oh, there we go. So this is what I meant when I said like the traditional Happy Planner lettering, kind of this like, I don't know, bubbly type lettering. Oh my gosh, is that leopard print? I think, oh my gosh, or like turtled. That's really cute. I like that a lot. The cursive. 
one. So pretty. Oh my gosh. And in so many different colors. Oh my gosh. And you have that either like leopard or turtle print in lowercase too. I love that there's lowercase in here. And then you have the blues with the greens and the teals. Beautiful. And then this is like a dark blue. That's really pretty. That would look really pretty with like that indigo Mickey planner. That would look really cute with that. And then capitals in just black cursive. That is really pretty. And then lowercase in black cursive. Beautiful. Okay. And then a whole page of silver foil in lowercase cursive gorgeous. And this is actually kind of cool. So I kind of like how they have this foil up top. I'm not really sure about it, but it does look nice. The rest of it is foiled as well. And so this is what I meant by that, like, I guess block lettering. That's kind of what I was thinking there versus like something like the next page. Okay. So there's two pages of those really pretty. And then this is like, again, the difference that's stunning. Love those in all the different colors. Oh, I love them. They're rainbow. That's so pretty. Oh, that's stunning. Love, 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 love. And then you have your outline letters in the silver foil. Beautiful. Another page of those. That could be fun to use. And then like, okay. Oh, wait, there's one more. Oh, no, this is just thick paper. Okay. And then there is like, oh, that might be actually easier to see. There are so many pages of alpha in hollow foil like it's just foiled to the max and i can't tell quite exactly what they are but there are so many in there okay so that is a quick preview of the alpha sticker book i'm sorry i couldn't do a better job of flipping through it but that's just the way the cookie crumbled okay and then we have sage gorgeous so pretty okay we'll start from the top I was so excited to get my hands on this prior to St. Patrick's Day. Love, 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 love. Oh my gosh, stunning. This whole page, these are going to fit beautifully in my dashboard planner. I was so excited to see this page. Stunning. And then you have some clear quotes with some foil. Really pretty. Oh my goodness. Is there anything better than new stickers? I don't think so. I like that one in the top that looks like the, you know, marbled kind of. That's really pretty. This foil is perfect on these different shades of green. And there is a coordinating planner with this one, you guys, if you're interested. And if you want to pick these up from either your local Michaels or Happy Planner, I don't know that Michaels online has them, but if you're picking them up from Happy Planner, I do have an affiliate link down below. This is really pretty too. Very functional and nice. Love all of these. Stunning. Oh my goodness, it's the season for gratitude. When is it not the season for gratitude? <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then a bunch of these like quote stickers and functional boxes in all of the greens. I love that they have those to coordinate with all of the different green spreads and the gold. It's like they put green and gold together on purpose. Perfect. I love this page too. These are nice with the little bullet points. Oh, so pretty. Another page of those. And then another page of like your clear quotes. Really pretty. Oh, let joy be your compass. That's stunning. Okay, this little green rainbow. I like this a lot. Don't call it a dream, call it a plan. Open heart, open mind. Just breathe. Beautiful. Oh, so stunning. Okay, this monstera leaf on the clear backing. That's really pretty. Stop and smell the wildflowers. Make every day matter. Your potential is endless. This handwriting is really pretty, this lettering. I'd love to know whose that was. Stunning on this page too. And I would say that the colors are coming off really bright on camera, but they're more, they're definitely more muted. So when you go to pick this up. Okay, and I keep thinking these are two pages, but they're not, they're just thick. Oh, these are really nice with the functional boxes and the headers stunning again so many functional things i think they they probably heard us when we said please give us functional things in, in the sticker books please do that beautiful so this is like a, a bunch of headers and then similar things in the gr the darker green with the gold foil beautiful appointments pencil it in love oh my goodness and this sage page oh, i love it so much Stunning. Oh my gosh, I love it. 
beautiful. Oh wow, I love these long stickers. I really like using those in my planner, even in the dashboard page. <gasps> Two more of the green rainbows. That's a, That would be really fun. I wish there was another page with like smaller ones. That could be a really fun spread. Beautiful, like the paint strokes and a bunch of quotes. That's beautiful. And then the last page, the stickers just say Sage. So that's the Sage sticker book. And there is a coordinating planner. I don't think I'll be picking that one up, but I've said that about pretty much every other planner that lives here. So the next two things are planners. And so if you have, this one is not brand new. So this one was the teacher planner for this most recent teacher release. Um, or a teacher planner, I should say, for the most recent teacher release. And, and that was like, you know, at the beginning of the school year. But it was regularly priced at $32.99 and I got it for $9.90. And this cover, I mean, I have just been buying planners like crazy just for the covers. But I am obsessed with this. <laughs> it's so cute. I really like it with the stick girl stuff. And it says plan a happy life. And it actually, hold on, this might actually be backwards. Is this backwards? I'm wondering now because that looks like that goes on the back. And does this go on the front? I have no idea. Let me know down below if you have this planner. Am I looking at it backwards? I have no idea. Did they put the cover on here backwards? Anyway, I bought it because of this, this side of the cover. I thought it was really pretty. Okay, so this is the Stick Girls Teacher Edition, and it does still have some life left in it, so if you find any of these at your um, local Michaels, you can still pick them up, and you can use them for the remainder of the school year or redate for next year. So we've got our school calendar here. I like this space in here too, like to set goals for the school year. Helpful tips and tricks. I don't necessarily use notes for the substitute, but other teachers might, so that could be a good spot for them. And then you've got your perpetual calendar. And then we start in August. So we have the future of the world is in my classroom today. And it's fairly neutral. There is a little bit of color here, but it is fairly neutral, which is nice. Oh, and then, oh, these are black spots down the spine here as well. So pretty neutral other than the year up here. And then your weekly pages are going to have color on them. I don't know if you can tell, but it is like rainbow. So blue, green, yellow, orange, red lines down the middle. So if you're into color on your pages, this planner is for you. And the numbers are also colored. So very bright, super fun. If you are a very bright and fun teacher, this is for you. So now I'm going to be quiet and I'm going to go ahead and flip through this and I'm going to speed it up and put it to some music for you. So I will be right back. I don't know how or how you do it. You blow my mind without a word. Oh, stuck upside down. I might be dreaming. There's no way back now. Take every inch of my body. With you all night long Dive in, babe, you know we can't stop this Come on and show me what you got Cause Okay, so here we are at the back of the planner. Your checklists are also very bright. So again, this is a super bright and fun planner. And I am so baffled by the cover now <gasps> because it was definitely sitting on the Michael shelf like this with, with this cover in the front. But now that I'm looking at the Happy Planner logo on the inside of the front cover usually goes on the front and so I am so confused now but anyway I love this cover and I cannot wait to use it so this is one of the planners I picked up today again $9.90 from $32.99 and then this speaking of teacher planners this is going to be my teacher planner for next year however there are a lot of other neutral options that have different layouts and I'm also wondering if there is going to be a teacher planner with like a neutral monthly that I can swap in and out of. Oh my goodness, we're gonna have to play with that glue dot though. 
Ah, <sighs> glue dots, bane of my existence. Although some of you gave me some great tips in the comments on one of my other videos, so I'll have to check those out. But this is a new release planner. It's an 18 month planner. It goes from July, 2022 to December, 2023, and is an hourly layout, which I love for my teaching position. So <laughs> I might grab the cover from that one, a divider from another, and that kind of thing. I also love that this has like this perpetual calendar that I can actually use use to set some goals. And then another perpetual calendar, this space I use to track my professional development and that kind of thing. And then let's see, very neutral. Yes. And then your like standard issue currently page or dashboard. And it is going to be very neutral and it does play off of the vibes of the girl with goals, but I think it's a little bit more neutral than that one, but it definitely has that feel and kind of that vibe. Um, but it is all put together in a dated planner. So love. Okay. So like I'm saying, if you have like a neutral monthly like this, you can just steal dividers from another planner and just plug them in here and it'll work just the same. So then it also, they do give you like setting goals for the month, things to follow up on. So they do give you some of them. And then the planner is 100% neutral, which is really nice. I like that a lot. And so um, you've got like your daily habits. So this is a really good planner for somebody who wants to track their life hourly and who really may want to be a bit more on the functional side. But I am so excited that it's neutral on the pages and that I could swap dividers in and out if I wanted to or just be super professional and beautiful and like simple with these dividers. So I'm going to flip through the rest of the planner and I'm going to speed it up a little bit. So I will see you back at the end. And then here we are at the back of this planner with just a very simple like chic notes page and then again just a very like simple and chic design and I really do think that that other planner was flipped and it was like this because you could totally do that with this one you could do that with any of these which is so cool for those ones that you can get on sale because they you know they're basically two covers in one y'all oh my goodness okay let's see if this glue dot is <laughs> proves any easier. It was not. Oh my goodness. These new glue dots, they are the struggle. Okay. But this thick, thick planner is the 18 month planner that I picked up and it will be my work planner for next year. But that is everything for today. That is my first round of new release shopping. Thank you so, so much for watching. This was so fun. And just wait until you see the shopping vlog. It's going to be a blast. You guys are going to love it. And um, if you're new here, I do, you know, go out into the stores and <laughs> film myself talking to the planner aisle, which is a lot of fun. So thank you in advance for checking those things out. And I would love it if you would subscribe if you're new here. My name is Caitlin um, and this is Creating in Chaos. So please hit that red subscribe button. I have so much fun content for 
for you guys coming in March. I just cannot wait to share it with you. So thank you in advance for doing that. And then if you'd like anything else from me, like any other content, you can find me over on at creating in chaos underscore official over on Instagram. Um, that is where I hang out quite often and I post at least twice daily, sometimes more. And then I'm very active on my stories. And because I will be going to go wild soon, if you'd like the updated <laughs> recap over there every day, I will be doing stories and taking pictures and posting and it's just going to be a great time. So thanks in advance for doing that. And then you can also find me over on the Spice Chaos podcast where I hang out with my bestie Leanne every Monday. So I really hope that you enjoyed our episode today with Annabelle from the Curvy Planner. If you haven't listened yet, it is linked down below as well as our podcast Instagram. So go give us a follow over there as well. And then if you want even more content from me, if you haven't gotten enough of me yet, you can also find me over on Patreon, which I try so hard to update. Um, I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit behind over there, but I will be updating and doing some other fun things over there soon. So thanks in advance for following me there as well. And then you can also always shop my affiliate links for Michael's, The Happy Planner, Joann's, and any other small shops that I have linked down below. And by the way, you guys have fun today. <laughs>